Department of Safety. <coughs> I was going to spell the name, so I have it right. John and Currently, the uh, commander of the state police uh, and narcotics and investigation. Oh. I'm here to uh, briefly speak on the bill we are opposed to. I have a uh, position paper here uh, that was completed, which I will hand out. I'm just going to touch on a few points. Um, I don't want to reiterate what's been said uh, by a number of people who have already testified, but. I agree with, uh, with Chief Craig from Enfield. Uh, he hit it uh, right on the head. This bill legalizes and regulates marijuana. It repeals several sections of RSA 318B, uh, which define marijuana as a drug, provides penalties for harvesting, transportation, sale, and no marijuana. It, allows, it will allow physicians to dispense the pharmacies to dispense marijuana pursuant to a written prescription. This bill would also legalize hashish. Hashish is currently illegal to use and consume in most countries of the world. Hashish is a, uh, it's a breakdown of a, 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 a pot of marijuana plant um, and it's THC content, that's the, that's the, the pot of the plant that, that gets the individual intoxicated or high is at 40% where normal marijuana that's smoked is right around 5%. It, it remains illegal to drive under the influence of marijuana. Uh, there is no standard for this limit right now, and there's no way to measure it. The potency of marijuana varies wildly. An impairment can only be identified by a small number of police officers who are certified experts in the field. That poses a, a great problem to our men and women in uniform who are out enforcing the laws and trying to take marijuana. Personal consumption, uh, such as smoking marijuana, would be legal according to the, uh, the proposed bill. However, there's no accompanying provision in the bill uh, that forbids open or public con consumption of the drug, uh, which could affect others as far as secondhand smoke. Uh, basically, it doesn't say you can, but it doesn't say you can't. Part of the bill also discusses uh, banning uh, law enforcement from setting up or using wiretaps uh, to investigate the manufacture, distribution, or sale of marijuana. And this would certainly hamstring any efforts to investigate cases where unlicensed growers, stores, or others that were circumventing laws uh, was occurring. The, ban, uh, the bill also bans the Department of Health and Human Services from requiring labeling and branding of marijuana or marijuana products or placing a warning on them that the product may be added for them. This is in section 10 of the bill, and that flies in the face of all scientific evidence that marijuana and hashish are in fact habit forming. In addition to the, to the particularly problematic sections of the bill that have been noted, the fact remains that marijuana is still a controlled and scheduled drug that is illegal under federal law. And I, I'm not gonna go into detail, that was just spoken. It is our position that we are opposed to this and we ask you to vote no. Representative Robinson. Are you testifying on all the other, all the bills that one? I have a couple of other little points, so no. The short answer is no. So I won't ask to Lee testifies on the other bills. <laughs> Representative Gagney. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for taking my question, sir. Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Uh, I think you're, you stated that there was no way to ascertain the marijuana level in the bloodstream. Like we do in a DWI case in alcohol, it would require a blood test 
or metabolites, by correct? You are correct. Thank you. Yes, one, just one quick. Representative Fields. Yes, yes, earlier one of our reps, I think it was, yes, Dave. Brady asked a question about the arrest procedures. <laughs> if it's a federal offense and you people are called, who actually has the authority, the feds or you guys? Or, you know, the police, uh, you know, the state police. If it's a federal offense and, and we are called, there's a number of, of, well, I'll address it from my standpoint. There's a number of individuals in my office we are cross-designated as federal agents, so we can enforce you know, federal laws. We are acting under the guise, you know, of the DEA. Would that be the local? Would, uh, would that be the local too? Like if you called, say, Laconia Police, and they would have somebody there that cross. Or More than likely, the, I know the New Hampshire Drug Task Force. Uh, those individuals are, are also cross-designated, but you, you, the beat cops, so to speak, is the, the guy in your office. Wouldn't necessarily be involved. Okay. But, but, but he could detain them, though, right? Yes. Could he detain them? He could. Okay. Thank you. Seeing no other questions, thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Chair.